Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading from May 2nd through the 8th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. We got a crazy Scorpio in the house. Uh, Juno started talking more and more. Yeah. She is um, just jumping and running and yeah. Is that what Scorpios do, you know, when they're in play mode? <laughs> She's jumping from the cat tree onto the table, onto... You know, you okay, girl? Anyway, Scorpio, you're a handful. What can I say? Let's see. Is that really Scorpio? I gotta do her chart. I gotta see what else is in there. No? No. <laughs> I love it when she does that, though. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's Juno, the overall energy for the reading. Very passionate, wow, exactly that. Uh, I, I wish you could see her so that I could translate this card. Definitely a sense of, I want to go for it, I want to do something. Very passionate coming from that place of the heart and desire. And I don't know what you're planning to do, um, but feels good. The intention behind it is good. Uh, in the recent past, the Ten of Swords, the Strength card, the Death card, two cards of an ending here, including your representative there with the Death card, um, took a lot here to end a particular situation. But I feel like finally you may have gone through with it. This is not normal. You go all nuts and you come here and you're cutesy and you're like, oh, nothing happened. And you want to play? No, we're not playing with Scorpio's cards. These are your cards. You're not playing with your cards. You're playing with your cards over there. Okay. Um, okay. In the current situation, the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, there's love popping in here for you. I feel like you want to do something about it. There's that little... Page of Swords there that says, yeah, I kind of want to go for it. It feels good. Uh, and this one here. Yeah. So, interesting. In the immediate future, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords. There's a whole lot of healing here, especially tied up to your confidence. You're growing in confidence like crazy. Um, so there's a whole lot gained from your own experience, I assume, into that place of growth, of stepping into your courage big time. Not you, I hope not you, because you're already there. Um, let's see, let's clarify. So you, you, that's what Scorpios do, they go nuts for five minutes and then they sleep. We're pretty much the same, um, Leos. We exhaust ourselves, so, ah, uh, okay, nap time. So, I get it. She's, no, she's not stopping, she lied. So you lie. I don't lie, after five minutes. Ace of Wands, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Star, the Five of Cups. Something brand new is starting, but not only because it wants to start out of nowhere, because you're creating it. There's something, it's like, and it's showing up, the Five of Cups is showing me, you know what, I've had a really hard time here. In the past, I've gone through hell and back, and now I'm ready to begin something new. So again, it's not an energy of, oh, the universe is rewarding me with, you created that. Maybe you're not seeing that, you know. Um... But definitely getting past something here, where something new is showing up. And it's practical, it's something you can touch and see and 
you know, something you can go with. D definitely showing up as your desire, which is telling me, well, to me it's translated as your creation. Thus, let's do the strength card in the recent past. I almost want to leave the past in the past. It's like, okay, you know, Scorpio's past that. For the strength card, you get the page of pentacles, the eight of wands, the five of wands. Almost like learning how to communicate uh, what you desire, what you, and all of your desires, especially at that time, were around ending a situation possibly. And I see you kind of learning how to communicate more effectively to to put that out there very clear which is telling me you've gained clarity over what it is that you wanted here took a lot here because i feel like even though you were clear even though um you wanted or your intention was one thing what you got out of it may have been conflict um so dealing with that almost learning how to deal with that and learning how to still Stay true to your intention. Let's do the death card in the recent past. Oh, here's the ugly bird. She brought it to me. I mean, you can't really understand that there's a bird here anymore. This is the ugly bird. They go nuts about these things. I may as well hide it because she's going to go nuts again. Um, the death card queen of swords three of swords the devil okay see that's the thing and I feel like a lot of people have this issue here when um you're ending a situation let's say you want to end a situation or somebody else but especially you um people for some reason automatically shut down their emotions it's like okay well we're ending this so that means that i don't love them anymore or that no that's not true love could still be there emotions could still be there we're not allowing ourselves to feel what it is that we're feeling we automatically assume that an ending means an ending that's it to my emotions too no and i feel like you did this where when this ending showed up, either you brought it or someone else brought it, it doesn't matter. You shut down. And that caused you pain. You know? Because you, you stopped acknowledging how you felt. You, you told yourself to not feel a certain way. Because it was done. Why would you? Well, no. You still feel certain things. Telling yourself not to feel that goes against you. So... You may have done that here by the looks of it. And it does show up like a pattern because as I said, it's not only you. I feel like it's, you know, a human kind of trait of we all do it. What are you doing? Let's do the emperor in the current situation. The four of swords, the queen of wands, the hangman. Um, you're still healing you're still in the process of healing here but you are moving somewhat the hangman doesn't represent necessarily movement the hangman represents that whole let me take a step back let me look at things from different angles but you have the queen of wands underneath and there's a whole lot of healing happening so because of the healing that's there i kind of get a sense that you're even though you're feeling certain things you're not rushing into them you're not jumping like ah let's go even though the Ace of Wands kind of represents that, but you're still containing yourself here, even with these emotions. Because you've healed. So yes, you're curious. Yes, you feel things. Yes, you allow yourself to feel things, but you're not running like crazy with those feelings anymore. Or like Juno. For the Queen of Cups. Oh my. King of Wands, the Empress, the Fool. I don't know who this is, but they're definitely showing up as that match made in heaven. There's an energy here that fits you like no tomorrow. Where you're at vibrationally at this point. And uh, 
they have the fool, you have the hangman, or the other way around. One is in the place of let's go for it, the other one is in the place of yes, let's go for it, but let's also take a step back. Let's not rush it, you know? But the energies are intense. Page of Swords, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Wands. Okay, so from this situation of, eh, let's take it one day at a time kind of a thing, I feel like things are going to change onto, I don't want to scare you, but like onto a rapid commitment kind of a place. So, because as I said, the energies are intense. You can contain yourself all you want, they can too. At some point, those energies are going to just come rushing out, basically. They're leading to commitment. Things are changing here. Faster than you might know. Let's do the Four of Swords in the immediate future. The Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles. Ugly bird. Um, there's an abandonment wound that's shown up here. Uh, it's a fear more than anything. I don't see this as building up into something and then kind of crashing down. I don't see that. But I see that as things are building up and are going in a pretty good, stable kind of an environment for this, this fear starts to show up. And this fear can manifest in itself into this is too good to be true when is it gonna end and the universe responds to those fears now how about we start responding to those fears before the universe does you know so when this fear shows up go in there see what it's about because it might mess things up here eventually if we don't take care of it but it's definitely starting to show up uh let's do the eight of pentacles in the immediate future Page of Cups, Three of Wands, the High Priestess. Yeah, there's still a little bit of a sense of things building up, but at a slow and steady pace, which feels right. So there's nothing wrong about this. It feels like someone's intuition is telling them, let's take it slow. Let's take it slow this time around. And they're listening. And I feel like this is you. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, it feels, all of the energies feel like they're falling into different places, but the places that they're falling into feel good for those times that they're falling in there. Let's do the King of Swords. The Three of Cups, the Seven of Wands, the Justice card. Interesting. A uh, little bit of um, a relapse, should I call it? There's an energy of wanting to get something back, something from your past. Uh, but I see you, I mean, I see it as coming in and I see you kind of looking at it and recognizing it and being like, oh, okay, but not doing anything about it, you know, kind of feeling it and looking at it as if it's normal that it's here, but not going with it, you know, kind of stopping it on its tracks, like, okay. And to me, that's kind of like if, especially if you've had a very hard time closing something out there it's gonna show back up eventually some way, somehow, you know, energetically speaking. It's one of those, like addictions, I don't know. You know, so a little bit of a, a, a sense of a relapse here has shown up, but you have it contained. You have it in its, in its place. I don't see you necessarily going for it. Uh, let's see what the universe has to close it off. The sun, the knight of swords, the nine of wands. You're, you're... I get it why you're stopping yourself so much. You're not stopping yourself. You're kind of pressing on the brakes. Because all of what's going on here does feel intense and does feel good. And all of it is leading you towards happiness by what the universe has here to show us. Um, there's that little sense of you that doesn't want to mess it up because you feel that if you go with the energies being so strong and so who knows where you'll go with them, where you'll fly with these energies. And because of that, you have the tendency to kind of 
not back down, but keep it more mellow, keep it more contained. Like, you know, I don't want to fly with these energies. Let's ground with these energies instead of flying with them kind of a thing. Um, so you're kind of like that. Now, the way you're showing up here is as if you have a little bit of resistance to how the energies flow. And when er energies are intense, they're going to flow very fast. So I kind of get you, but be mindful of that also, because, you know, at some point it is going to become resistance to the energies, to the flow of the energies. If you're pushing it like, no, let's take it slow, slower, 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 you know, you can take it slow all you want. Just don't take it too slow to the point of resisting the, the flow. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. You want to see her jump? She jumps like in all fours. She's not going to jump from there because she needs to raise her little ass off of there. Anyways, uh, I'll show it to you one day. So <laughs> that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.